Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone love into this. Your mom in the fucking sand. How did you figure yourself out? Mushrooms. Really? Yeah. So you, do you endorse them for people? I should try them? No. Okay. Because I, I, how the fuck do I know what it's going to do for you? Okay, that's all right. You might be one of those people in one of those high school film strips I used to watch who thinks they can fly and jumps off a building. Yeah. I don't know. No, I just took some and, uh, you know, it got me in touch with uh, why I became a comedian. Because mm -hmm. uh, I didn't have like a good trip. I didn't have a good trip, but in a good way. It let me, <laughs> let me know. It let me know why I always walked around saying I hate myself. I, if I figured the whole... You figured that out? Figured it all out. I now know everything that I did, good or bad, my whole life. I know why I did it. I know why I drank the way I did, why it ended up getting me out of control. I know the whole fucking thing. All from that trip? Yeah. And do you, is it simple? Like, is it, is, is it ultimately something you go, that's It was mind-blowing because it, it was right there, but because of pain and stuff, you just block it all out. And uh, what I have found with a lot of things is a lot of things happened to you when you were a kid. So because of that kid perspective, and it was so huge, and it was a universe, that they're like mountains to you in your head. And then when you finally cross the line, it's like stepping up onto a curb because it wasn't like a big deal. I actually... I've also learned too, like with like, uh, you know, your idea of your childhood and the adults in your life, their idea of your childhood, neither one of them is true. It's somewhere in the middle yeah. where you were putting so much on it because your home life, that was your whole universe. And then they're out there working, doing whatever, or your teacher, you know, who said whatever was struggling to pay bills. Like to them, it was such a smaller thing. That's why when kids confront it's like, you didn't, ah, I never did that. They don't even remember it. Sure. Not in a mean way. So I, I think that I was actually like, you know, I think I put too much on a lot of things where they put maybe too little, you know, whoever the people were in my life or whatever issue. And, um, and now being a parent, you know, I just, I, I get real, um, I think one of my strengths as a parent is remembering like what it was like to be a kid. Yeah. Cause like my daughter was putting on something and she didn't want to wear it. And my wife was like, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. And I, I said, well, that's a huge deal. Yeah. You can't go to school, not liking what you're wearing. Cause yeah. that's going to get in your Cause head. Cause you remembered. Well, that that's going to get in your head. You're going to carry yourself a certain way and that's going to attract the sharks. Mm -hmm. You gotta be, you gotta be going to school feeling good about yourself. Yeah. True. <laughs> Especially if you had orange hair and freckles. Yeah. You needed, you needed to have a vibe. And do you feel like, yeah, that's, I mean, that's a big deal. I think about that too sometimes about when you go, you put a lot on how you viewed things as a kid. When now with my own kids where I'll, I'll, something will just happen, you know, some interaction. I'll be like, oh, I wonder if this for him will be a bigger deal. You know, like something that's yeah. imprinted in his mind. I think as long as your kid respects you, but isn't afraid of you. Yeah. And if you actually say like, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. That's a big thing for him. Cause like my kids are not afraid of me in a good way. Yeah. In a good way. Sometimes that backfires. Like my daughter one time was doing something and I was saying, you can't do that. Okay. I told you not to do it and you did it. And she goes, yeah, but she goes, but Dada, it was funny. And I had to be like, all right, it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as a comic, I got to, I got to yeah. own up. It yes. was funny. I go, but you still, you shouldn't do it. So she, I think she had a difficult time with the fact that I, I, I agreed that it was funny. Yeah. But my, like, uh... I, I I got a kick out of the fact I was like, oh, she was going for the joke. Yeah, that's I know they go they go for jokes. <laughs> they do. They, my uh, my five year old, I yelled. I was like, no, I can't believe you fucking out. You know, I screamed about something he threw on the ground, and then like he came over. And he goes, you don't yell at me like that. Talk to me normal. And I laughed so hard because yeah. I was so fired up. I was like, all right, man, sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. He's like, he was like, I I'm a kid. He talked normal to me, and I was like, all right, I'm sorry. Yeah, he just lit me up. Well, the thing is, and it's also like, you know, I think they know when they should be yelled at. Yeah, they do, kind of. They yeah. do, because I did. I remember, you know, yeah, my mom used to, you know, she was the one that dealt out the punishment. She had like a paddle and shit. And mm -hmm. like, I, I looked back, I, I was like, like, I deserved every fucking one of those. Yeah. It was only like one or two where, you know, I got it because somebody else did something. I wasn't going to say anything. So like, but I mean for the most part. And I, but I'm sure it went that way with some of my other siblings. So yeah. It is, it is, uh, it is what it is. But now you have full, like you basically feel like you have full clarity on why you're a comedian. Like you, whatever it is, 
You, yeah, you see it now. Yeah, and it wasn't because I, I love comedy and I always related to comedy. That's what I thought it was. It wasn't. No. It was, it was a you, very simple thing. Yeah. It was like, I was going to go on. It was the quickest way for me as a shy, loner type person to go on into a room, get everybody to know me and like me, and then nobody hurts me. Yeah. It was just that. It was as simple as that. You're going to like me. Hey, he's a good guy. And then I can fucking relax because mm-hmm. I was sort of stuck in the fight or flight mode as most kids were of, uh, I think, um, when I grew up. Like it was a, uh, you know, it was an interesting time. You just sent your kids outside, which you would never do. I mean, I, I live in a city, so I wouldn't do that. But back, you know, living in the suburbs. Yeah. They just sent you outside and then you ran into other kids, and if they were bigger kids, they would just do shit to you. Yep. Break your toys, beat you up, throw rocks at you, make you run as they shot bow and arrows at you. I remember the kid yeah. used, to, used to make his run. <laughs> he would shoot this fucking arrow up in the air, like a real arrow. Yeah, fuck. And you'd get caught in the wind, and you'd try to get out of the way. And he'd be like, all right, you come back. Now, you and you, get out there. And he would. Do, and it was just like his entertainment. Um just shit like that. I mean, that's how that whole, uh, you know, that F is for family thing came about was I, when I first told those stories on stage, people laughed and then somewhere along the line, parenting changed mm-hmm. and those kids grew up and all those laughs turned into like, no, yeah. Oh, and it was really frustrating, um, to get, I guess, emotionally supported <laughs> as opposed to people laughing. So then I, I was just like, so I just sort of put them away but I knew they were funny. Uh-huh. And then, and I also knew that that way of living didn't totally go away, that there's still kids doing shit to each other or whatever. And uh, so that's why we figured out, you know, watching South Park, it's like, well, how far these guys are going? I'm going nowhere near this. I bet I can get away with these stories if I animate them. So that was the deal. Hello, and thank you for watching that highlight. Uh, if you want to see more of those, we have them. They're provided for you. So enjoy. Just do a deep dive like you're trying to study us. Click on these and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and then they'll just be delivered to you. You can watch them when they come out. Please do it.